Hey guys, welcome to the 16th C Sharp tutorial that I'm making for the new Boston. And in this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to use methods. So, all you're going to need for this tutorial is a button, and once you have it on your form, just go ahead and double click on it. Alright, so a method is basically any block of code that you're going to want to use more than once. So, and by a block of code, I mean any code inside of these two curly braces right here. So, the code inside of here is considered a block of code. So the first step in creating your method is going outside of this method right here. You're just going to want to um, hit enter and go outside of here. And then you're just going to want to type void. And we're going to be getting into um, having different things here, but for right now just type void. And then you're going to want to give a name to your method. I'm just going to call it message because we're just going to have a message box show inside of here. Alright, and after you type the name of your method, just type two empty parentheses and later we're going to get into ha actually having things inside of here but for right now just have two empty parentheses after the name of your method and then of course you're going to want to have um, two curly braces and inside of here is basically the code that you want to happen when the user calls this method and you need to have those parentheses there okay and like I said we're just going to have a message box show inside of here so I'm going to say message box dot show and then I'm just going to make it say hello. Alright, now in order to access this code, we're just going to want to go up to under our button one click and type message. And put two parentheses after it and then of course end the line. So basically what it's going to do when the user clicks this button is it's going to see message right here. And it's going to want to look for a method with the name of message. So it's going to go down here and see this method. It says message right there and then it's going to execute the code inside of this block right here so it's going to do message box dot show hello so now we debug we should get a message box that says hello yep perfect and the cool thing about methods is you can um, call this as many times as you want from different locations and by call I mean just use it so if you were to have another button right here I'll just copy it and when the user clicks on button 2 if we wanted the same code to be executed we could just call that message method right there. So now when the user clicks button one, it's gonna go down here and do this code. And then when the user clicks button two, it's gonna go here and do this code as well. So no matter which button we click, it's both gonna do the same thing. Should get, yep, hello, and get hello there as well. Perfect. All right, now what if we wanted the user to be able to choose what they have in the message box? Well, what you can do right here is just put um, whatever variables that you want to be passed into here. So we're just going to want to have a string be passed so that will be displayed inside of this message box. So we can just say string um, message. Alright, so now basically what we have inside of here is a string variable to work with. And we're just going to have that be displayed inside the message box. Alright, so now whatever um, string that the user or the caller wants to be displayed in the message box will be displayed. So Whenever we call this method now, we have to pass through the string that we want displayed inside of the message box. So we're just going to have it pass through Adam. So now what it's going to do is it's going to call this message method. It's going to look for this message method, and now it's going to set this string message variable um, equal to whatever the user passed through. So since I passed through Adam, it's going to say string message equals Adam. And then it's going to display the message box with Adam inside of it. But let's say down here when the user clicks button 2, we wanted to display Bob in the message box. So now what it's going to do right here is call this message method. Then it's going to set this string variable equal to Bob this time, and then display Bob inside of a message box. So when we click button 1, we should get Adam inside of a message box. Yep, and when we click button 2, we should get Bob inside of a message box. Yep, perfect. All right. And what if we wanted the user to pass through multiple parameters? So we wanted the user to pass through the title of the message box. Well, we can just go ahead, put a comma, and say string title. So now the caller has to pass through a message and a title. So it's put a comma right there and then the title of their message box. And we're just going to make it say um, hello. And we're just going to make it say hello for Bob as well. So um, hello. All right, so now what it's going to do here, under button one click, is it's going to look for this message method. So it's going to go down here. And then it's going to say string message equals Adam. And then it's going to say string title equals hello. 
and we want the title of the message box to be the title that the user passes through. So we're just going to put a comma right there and say title. All right, so now it's going to say string title equals hello, and then it's just going to have the message box's title be the title that the user passed through, which is hello. And then for button two's click, it's just going to say message, look for this message method, um, set this string message equal to Bob, then it's going to set this string title equal to hello, and then we're going to get a message box that says Bob um, inside of it, and then it's going to say hello for the title. So let's just see if this worked here. We get Adam inside of it and hello on the top. For button two, we get hello on the top and Bob inside of it. Perfect. All right, so that's pretty much it for this tutorial on methods. In the next tutorial, we're going to get into changing this. All right, so see you guys.